wish I had better words to say. I sometimes wonder why the fuck I even write in this goddamn journal. I need to make it back to West Point. I need to get to that school. But a whole army of those fuckers stand between me and the library. I've killed so many. So goddamn many. Some farmer's field has now become a goddamn graveyard. I'm tired. Jamie. Driving through the devastation he has left in his wake, Jamie heads towards the barn he hoped to use as a safe house in his attempt to reach the school. Scouting just a fraction into the town is met with a house alarm blaring and undead hordes pouring from every direction, causing Jamie to retreat back into the farmlands. Praying that perhaps the alarm pulled the majority of the undead towards the southern part of town, he heads up north to where a back road leads him mostly to the school, deciding to try his luck there. Unable to use his gun since a single blast would bring a tidal wave of undead down upon him, he's forced to hack his way through the still sizable amount of shamblers outside the city. Steadily making progress as the sun rises higher in the sky, he reaches the first real road just north of the school and feels a bit of hope rising in his chest. Resolve challenged again and again as he spots sizable groups surrounding the school, his composure finally shatters once he sees the unbelievable amount of dead inside. Not having the strength or the time to take on this fight, he heads back the way he came and returns to his SUV, with desperation fueling his plans for tomorrow. I had my first taste of West Point since the dead chased me out almost a month ago. I can't say I'm surprised by the amount of shambling monsters there are even on the outskirts. All that death in the field feels pointless now, as even more trickle into the area I previously thought had been made safe. Thankfully there is a back road that gets me mostly to the school, but the building itself is stuffed full of those fuckers. I don't know how likely it is for me to actually make it to the library. Fuck me, Jamie. This may be my last broadcast. The emergency radio has been reporting outages across Knox County. If anyone is out there, I'm going to try and restore power, but please, be safe. Gearing up in the morning without a plan formed, Jamie forces himself back toward West Point mindlessly in hopes of clearing the school. Spying a large group where he had retreated yesterday, he believes for a moment that he had drawn the undead outside, but is quickly proven wrong as he spots even more undead than there were previously.
Frantically coming up with the plan of trying to lure the zombies out with gunfire, he uses the open yard to the west to begin firing off shots before darting off to safety. Hoping to now flank around and approach the building from the other side, his attempts are thwarted once more, as there are simply too many stragglers to deal with. Heartbroken, he surrenders to the inevitable, and retreats back from West Point for the second day in a row. The town has now been claimed by the undead, and Jamie has no hope of wrenching it from their rotten flesh. As he is cleaning up and preparing for bed, the broadcast from the emergency radio catches his attention. The power is failing. Jamie has run out of time. Aimless and distraught, he reminds himself that Weston hasn't been fully explored, which though the chances are slim, it could hold the key to survival he's been fighting so hard to obtain. Unable to give up, he focuses his mind on his new task and spends the final morning with power before he strikes out into the thunderstorm, heading west. Finding himself growing angry as the streets he once cleared now hold more stumbling corpses, he lets out his mounting fury and despair by blasting down the gathered dead in a wild and dangerous manner. No calmer or more relieved than when the bloodbath had started, he begins looting the buildings he hasn't touched yet, but only finds disappointment within their walls. Eventually stumbling upon a car that looked in good shape and still had the key in the ignition, he figures out that it's simply out of gas and moves to fix that problem. Mm -hmm. 
Savoring the minor victory, he continues to push on, looting more homes that are endlessly guarded by the undead. Beginning to tow his backup vehicle out of town, he ends up spotting a hidden driveway while disposing of the residual walkers he had drawn out. Discovering a barn and a house out by a small pond, he manages to loot the first structure before his rashness leads him to unloading on the gathered dead outside the home. With more and more pouring out of the nearby trees, his fear finally pushes him to flee, forcing him to retreat once again for the third day in a row. Power finally went out. Life just got a lot more difficult, and I can't exactly claim it was smooth sailing already. Preserving food is no longer an option, so the small amount of canned goods I've gathered so far might have to make do for now. Though I wish I was brave enough and strong enough to fight my way to the school in West Point, I fear that there is simply too many of them to get through. I can live for now so my attention will stay further west, searching for information on this generator until something winds up killing me. Jamie. Thank you.